frozen shoulder. Adhesive capsulitis affects four to five percent of the population and it's growing in numbers. The number of people getting frozen shoulder worldwide is increasing significantly for some reason. Nobody's sure why, but every year there seems to be more and more cases of frozen shoulder. And the condition is excruciatingly painful. It is one of the most painful conditions that exists known to man. They can't put on their shirt, they can't put on their coat, they can't wash their hair, they can't shave their underarms, they can't do anything. It's completely and totally debilitating. Um, I've not been very good at washing my hair. Um, turn around, let me see if you try to put it on behind your back. Go I ahead, can't. turn around. I can't, I literally can't. No. Um, I've been to two orthopedic surgeons and I currently go to the uh, pain clinic. Chiropractor, physiotherapy, massage therapist. I have literally seen everybody. At this moment, I have no choice but to come and talk to you and mm -hmm. to see you. Mm -hmm. Because I, I want my life back. I just it's completely frozen. It's really called an adhesive capsulitis. Adhesive capsulitis is a really true frozen shoulder. You have a very, very bad one. But that doesn't mean that we don't fix it. We still fix it. We still fix it. We have a specific way where I use this treatment called trigenics. I use a neurological method of shutting down the muscles that go into contracture when we hit the pain. Not a single one of them has ever come back to have to have, to have done a second procedure and uh, none of them have had a reoccurrence of the frozen shoulder. So the prognosis is good. And when you're ready to receive help, I'm ready to help you. I couldn't do this earlier at all. I said you're a miracle worker. I can raise my arm up, no problem. At the same time, go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good for you. Yay!